this session we are going to discuss about how to simulate a program for LPC2148 to just interface one GPIO that is an LED and uh, we are going to use Keel compiler for simulating LED program as well we are going to interface with the hardware and see how it is behaving with hardware so we have written a program here for LED I can see here okay so it's completely on C program of course we call it as an embedded C program and uh, we have uh, declared one variable and then we have made a pin P0 10th pin I'm using two here and I'll comment it I'm using P0 10th pin as an output pin so I have already discussed about how to make the pin as an output using our operation because we are not going to change the status of any other pin other than P0 10th pin and then I want this pin to be blinked continuously I and low continuously that's why I put it in the while loop and then I made the P0 10th pin as an output and uh, it is high because my controller is working at 60 megahertz of frequency it is very fast so that we cannot distinguish between uh, when it is on and when it is off so that I have given some delay with a for loop so it will be giving me some a fraction of a second of a delay and then I am switching off the LED I'm clearing it and then again the delay and this loop will be continuous so while one it will be in a continuous loop I hope you can see you can use the debug button here to check whether my code is working or not here you can see this okay so you go to peripherals and then go to GPIO slow interface because we are interfacing a slow uh, GPIO not the first GPIO so you can see all the 32 things are here we are programmed for P010 here so that it will be blink so I'll give a continuous blink these are all the options are there it is step by step step over and then it is a continuous blink so you can see here my P010 pin for a while it is going low and going high so that means my code is properly working so I'll stop it I'll come out of the simulation and then before you generating X file you need to take care here so you go to options for target target options here we have this button otherwise you can go to uh, the project under options target options and here you make sure that this is external crystal I have connected because my board is working at 12 megahertz of frequency external crystal of course my processor can work up to 60 megahertz and device you make sure that you have connected with this is selected LPC 2148 this device and then make sure that you create an X file this one check it and then the linker options because we need to give a proper uh, starting memory options or a starting program so you need to check this use a memory layout target dialog so once that is run you say yes okay and then you want the compiler okay now I will connect the hardware board you can see uh, this I have the hardware here I kept the hardware so this is a board what I am using for a practical purpose I'm uh, using a USB power supply for it and uh, yes I am using because this is RS-232 communication my system is doesn't have RS-232 so I am using one 
USB to RS232 converter. It will automatically convert. Now, yeah. So now you can see that whether my port, USB port, are connected or not. If you want to see it, come back to the right, and you go to the properties, and then you go for device manager here, yeah, and you check whether my USB to you are connected or not. You go to our ports, and you make sure that you have connected. Once you open the port, open this connection, it will go out and uh, whenever you insert it it will just come back so my usb2 uart bridges com3 i need to select that com3 and now i need to go for flash magic for downloading the program And then browse to the X file where it is. So I have oh, this one on desktop LED. LED. Okay, now I have an X file. I open it and you make sure that here some of the basic settings are done. Select a device LPC 214A and the COM3 that is a COM3 for. USB to UART converter, baud rate generally it is 9600, you can keep uh, other baud rates also it is going to work and you must take care this one is ISP and then 12 megahertz and then you check this erase all flash code port and then if at all you want it to verify after the program you can check it other hi on reset so keep pressing P014 and then press the reset and then leave it now it is in ISP mode now you start here you can go and uh, start the program now you can see this it is programming you can see this this progression is making now it is done right so which program which pin I have then the program P010 pin so what I do, I have just one LED, I'll connect to a P010 pin here, P010 pin and then of course I'll connect to a ground to this one. Now I just, you need to start all over again, you need to reset it. Now you can see my LED is blinking at certain delay, you can see it, yes, that's how we can program a small GPIO using Keel compiler as well as we can interface with the hardware. Now you can go.